you know, it's it's pretty crazy. Honestly, I am always being monitored. I guess that comes with the territory, man. I can't uh, I can't win with some people in the community. Honestly, no matter what I say, no matter how I feel, there's always going to be some someone that is unhappy with how I go about things or unhappy with what I said and take it out of context. They'll clip 20 seconds. Meanwhile, they don't get to the fucking full point I was trying to make. It it is what it is. It, It comes with the territory, like I said, but I didn't enjoy SmackDown tonight. I thought SmackDown was very underwhelming. And yes, for all the all the geeks out there that claim, oh well, JD doesn't say anything bad about about SmackDown. I didn't like it. I didn't like a lot on this show tonight. I thought it was pretty fucking boring, to be quite honest with you. The only reason anybody tuned in tonight was because of Roman Reigns and The Rock. They were advertised for the show tonight. And we're going to get into what they said a little bit later. Okay? We're going to dissect the promo. And we're going to go over everything that The Rock said. Which basically was a lot of nothing. He didn't really say much of anything. But, you know, know, I say something like that. You know, I'll sit here and tell you, well, The Rock didn't really say much of anything. And I, I know for a fact I haven't even been on Twitter since I went live. All I did was tweet the fucking, the, the link to the stream out. Guarantee it. You're going to get people, oh, uh, what do you want him to say? They got, they, they got six weeks of a uh, WrestleMania build, JD. Let me tell you guys something. When I watch a show... And we get a major development that happened last week. The major development was Triple H. Came out and used a bunch of one-liners indirectly to Dwayne. It doesn't matter what seat you're sitting at. Everything goes through me. Know your role and all that other nonsense that he was talking about last week. Imagine having such a big storyline development come out where we all think this power struggle is going to advance the story. That happened last week. Seven days ago. I enjoyed Triple H's promo more than I did anything else on that show. I'm like, there you go. Love it. Now let's see what The Rock and let's see what Roman Reigns has to say. You get something like that seven days ago, and then you get to this week's show. What are you guys expecting The Rock to go out there and do? I mean, he slapped Cody. Cody didn't say anything about The Rock outside, oh, well, if you're going to slap me, I'm going to slap you right back, is all he said. That's all Cody said last week. Or this week, rather, on Monday. That's all he did. He promised Rock he was going to slap him back. As he should. He's a man who got disrespected in Las Vegas. Imagine thinking we were going to get some storyline advancement after what Triple H said last week, only for The Rock to come out there and, and basically... Say a lot of nothing. Imagine watching one of your favorite shows and a big development happens and then you wait all week to see the next installment of what happened, the follow-up to what happened, and then you don't get anything. Do you think you're going to get something on the taped show that you're going to get on Friday because everybody's going to be in Perth? Next week's show is going to be an even bigger waste of time than this week's show is going to be. So then that means... The Rock didn't say anything about Triple H this week. He will not say anything about Triple H next week. And then we got to wait another week 
which would be two and a half weeks, three weeks almost, for Russ to get some sort of explanation as to why The Rock took anger towards Triple H and the things that he said last week. That is inexcusable. I don't give a shit how you want to make The Rock's promo out to be. I don't give a shit how you thought The Rock's promo was great. I don't give a shit how you fucking decode and decipher what The Rock said and try to make sense out of the nonsensical things he said tonight. I'm here to give you common fucking sense. Did we not deserve The Rock to come on out and say anything about what Triple H said last week? Because what Triple H said to my fucking ears was a lot that needed to be addressed. No, but everybody's blinded by the fact that Dwayne wore his Hollywood vest and The Rock went out there and made fun of the Mormons and their fucking 500 wives. I'm sorry, I don't see how shitting on Mormons, the Utah Jazz, and the San Francisco 49ers, and the Royal Rumble has anything to do with what Triple H said last week. Now we gotta wait three weeks until we get some sort of rebuttal from Dwayne Johnson. If that, it may be even longer. You know, I get all the people on social media that are probably half my age and they got the fucking IQ of a fucking pencil, but I'm not here to give you half-ass fucking content. I watch, I address, I dissect, and then I relay. So I'm following this very, very closely. So we got the pivot from the original plan of Rock and Roman, which was the original plan from day one, Right back to Cody and Roman. And then we get the pivot to Las Vegas because they gave Rock the fucking title match. I want to take everything from Roman, but not at WrestleMania. Then they pivoted back to Cody and Roman. Great job. So we go Rock Roman. Cody wins the Rumble. It's Rock Roman. Then Cody Roman. Then it's Rock Roman again. Now it's Cody Roman again. So four fucking pivots. Four changes in the month of January. We didn't get an explanation for Cody basically giving up his WrestleMania match to Dwayne. We got to decode and decipher that on our own because WWE wants to sweep that under the fucking rug and doesn't want to give you an explanation for it. Now you're asking me to sit here and be negligent in my analysis. You want me to overlook it? You want me to sweep it under the rug like WWE did that one? And you want me to sweep this week under the rug after what Triple H said last week and The Rock came out this week and said nothing about what Triple H said last week? Sure thing, guy. Sure thing. I'm not... This social media fucking geek who pays for Twitter Blue and farms for engagement. I'm here to give you the fucking logic of what you're watching. Everything that happened tonight did not make sense. I don't give a shit if The Rock is playing Hollywood Rock and he wants to denounce Cody and denounce the Royal Rumble and anything else. The simple fact that he did not follow up on what Triple H said last week, and we now have to wait three weeks for him to address what I find to be a major fucking deal. That's a fucking fail. I don't know what ride Dwayne is taking us on, but holy shit, man, if I'm in the dark horse, the front end of the fucking car is already fucked up. So many fucking potholes on this road to WrestleMania already. And I can't wait to see some fucking geek on social media clip this show, take me out of context, and make it seem like I hated what Dwayne said. 
No, I didn't hate what Dwayne said because I've been asking for Hollywood Rock for as long as you've been asking for Hollywood Rock. But the context of what he said made absolutely zero sense. And all the people that got the IQ of a fucking goddamn eraser, it's going to go right over your head and you're not going to care about anything that fucking should matter. And all you care about, oh, look, he's wearing the Ricky Starks vest. Oh, look, Hollywood Rock. Ha, 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 ha. What are you, 12? You know, I'm a grown man. I want logic. I want explanation. They didn't give us Cody explaining why he gave his title shot up to The Rock. I'm supposed to come up with my own reason by myself. Or like the fucking idiots online, they even did it with that one. Oh, well, he came out and called bullshit on that. He took tribal counsel from The Rock and The Rock screwed him. All right, but yeah, that's fantastic. That's great. What am I? What am I supposed to write their own fucking storylines? Why can't Cody tell me that himself? He already came off like a fucking idiot. He gave his title match up to The Rock. So what? What difference does it make if he explains how much of an idiot he is after that? You gotta follow up. You got to. I don't really understand all these fucking people. You don't, you don't want a story? What's the story? We got nothing as far as a fucking story. Rock is joining Roman. The only thing I got as far as the story is they're the bloodline. That's it. How many weeks till WrestleMania? We got all of March, right? That's four weeks. Six weeks. Now, now you want to take another additional three weeks? Three weeks to give us some sort of explanation from Dwayne to Triple H. Unless, unless they're just going to ignore this one as well. I wouldn't be fucking surprised. So that's my gripe. That's my gripe with The Rock tonight. Did I enjoy The Rock's promo? Sure. I laughed. I chuckled. I smiled. It's not all doom and gloom on this side of YouTube. There's a reason why we got 3,400 fucking people in here because most of these people know that I'm going to give them the cold hard truth. And if you don't like it, go kick marbles. Don't care. It's not my fucking problem. You can't decipher what is good and what is bad. That's what you got me here for, because you're not going to hear it from anybody else. I love Hollywood Rock. It was the one character that The Rock had that he played that we didn't get long enough. And now seemingly he's going to be back well past WrestleMania is what I'm presuming. He's going to be Hollywood Rock for a while. I'm here for the long game. But man, oh man, this game is starting off, man. Level one and Roman and Rock have already gone through multiple lives. They're basically running out of lives here. You better start using some fucking cheat codes. Because I'm going to need some explanation. Stat. Everybody seems to think that WWE could get away because, oh, it's The Rock. Oh, it's Roman. Oh, it's Cody. But if you don't have the foundation of a story week to week with explanation week to week, the match is going to end up half of what it truly could be. WWE did the same fucking thing and I remember it vividly with Roman and John Cena. Seriously. Remember that when they wrestled at SummerSlam? They didn't do anything. There was zero story there. 
WWE rode the coattails of John Cena being back and put him in the ring with Roman Reigns because that was the biggest match that that, that Roman could do at the time. And they did it with zero story. They thought one week of promo and, and highlights and graphics between the two, that was going to be enough. No, I'm not letting them go by here. I'm not. I'm not letting them get away with this. We're grown men. We understand the fucking story. We understand the product. If you're not delivering your part of the deal here as far as giving us an explanation, I'm not going to sit here and be blinded like half of the fucking social media virgins out there who want to fucking cry, oh, well, this is why The Rock did this, and this is why The Rock said this. There's no fucking explanation. Zero. You could sit there and cry, oh, JD hates this. He's wrong about this. I ain't wrong about a fucking goddamn thing. I'm not saying I'm batting a thousand. But man, oh man, if you guys are sitting here liking what you're getting so far, you got a whole story so far that's been made out of fucking garbage because they wanted to go in a different direction. We didn't allow them to. And now they're not even fucking telling the proper story when they corrected course. No, but I'm supposed to sit back and be like everybody else, right? Like lemmings, following the leader right off the fucking mountain. Fuck out of here. I built a reputation and a goddamn podcast that is fucking great. Based on being different and going against what everybody said. Everybody wants to paint this fucking picture that it's WrestleMania. It can't be wrong. Motherfucker, when they don't give you a story... That came out of legitimately last week's show and follow up on what Triple H, the fucking chief content officer, who's never on television. If you can't follow up on that, you expect them to make sense of this storyline three weeks from now. Cody ain't doing it. Honestly, honestly, you know who's putting in the most work here? The guy who's the fourth fucking wheel out of everybody in this goddamn cinema that WWE is painting this picture of. The guy who's given us the most logic, the guy who's given us the most sense, the guy who's given us the most dialogue, the guy that's given us everything that he's needed and he's not even involved. The guy who's done more than both Rock, Roman, and Cody, all combined. Seth Rollins. Imagine that. Seth Rollins has given you more than all three of these guys combined. No, but that's okay to you. You Guys, better open your fucking eyes. Open your eyes. You don't like what I have to say? Sorry, man. Sorry that it doesn't fit your narrative. I'm supposed to like everything because it's Dwayne. And oh my God, Rock and Roman are in the bloodline. How can JD hate on it? Oh my God, what a party pooper, pal. This is supposed to be the new WWE, right? This is supposed to be the new era. Triple H was out there two weeks ago saying that this is going to be the greatest WrestleMania of all time. That we're entering a new era. The Rock has been proclaiming on social media that this is going to be the wild ride. Shut your candy asses up and go for a ride. Enjoy the ride that I'm going to take you on. What's the ride? What's the ride? As far as I'm concerned, I'm in the fucking dark horse riding down the road to WrestleMania. I'm already looking at fucking $6,000 worth of fucking damage with all the goddamn potholes that I've came, come across. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. You don't like what I have to say. Tough shit. 